How's it going, everyone? So today's video isn't going to be the most cheerful one I've ever uploaded. It's actually going to be in regards to something that happened almost a year ago. And really, this video is on behalf of my family. Um, For those of you who were around during that time, you might have heard of this incident. And it's something that's just really ruined a lot of things, and it's still kind of coming back to screw us. So last year, we had planned to take a family vacation. It was probably the first family vacation we'd had in fucking God knows when, because I finally had the power to be able to help pitch for a vacation. And my parents wanted to take one last vacation with their kids before they went off to college so that they'd have the memories and you, you know the story. So this was a really cool opportunity. We didn't actually think we'd be able to do this, but we were like, well, we can afford to, so let's go to San Diego. Now, prior to this vacation, we were having issues with a component of our house called a sump pump. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically like a pump that pumps water out from under your house because your house is like at the bottom of a hill or something, so water collects. Um, And basically, it keeps your house from flooding. So yeah, pretty simple, right? It breaks, you replace it. It's simple. Basically, Basically what had happened to us was a week before our vacation, our sump pump had died. So we bought a new one and replaced it. Two days later, that one dies. So we buy a really high powered one and we replace it. And this one seems to be doing the job. It's kicking ass. So after like three all nighters of staying up to make sure our house was okay, we were like, all right, sweet. Yeah, no, this thing's doing the job. We can go on our vacation. Yeah, good job, everyone. We literally rebuilt the fucking piping to make sure it was okay. So halfway through our vacation, we get a call from the person who had been watching our house. And, to our dismay, the basement had fucking flooded. Now, it wasn't anything god-awful. Pretty much the carpet was soaked, but there was no, like, visible water raising above it. You know, at most, it was probably, like, a $7,000 fix, which, in terms of flooding, isn't that bad. But, um, we don't have $7,000 to just throw at shit. Very few people in this country have $7,000 to just throw at shit. Especially with such short notice. So who do you go to when a disaster happens and you need money to fix it? Insurance! Alright, so this is where the story gets fucked up. We call our insurance provider at the time, Allstate, and the moment we mentioned flooding, they just tell us to go away. They said they couldn't do anything and just hung up. Like, legitimately, they just said, we can't help you. They didn't listen to the reasoning, they didn't try to cooperate, they just said, sorry. Which, you know, it's insurance, whatever. We just, you know, call back and fight. So, we finally get past the guy who was literally yelling at my dad. I'm not even joking, he was on the phone and the representative was yelling at him. Like, I, I can't with words describe how ridiculous it was. So yeah, eventually we get through him and we're able to talk to some sort of higher up. And they tell us, don't do anything to the basement, wait till we can get someone out there to check it. Alright, sweet. Well, that sucks. We have to let our basement stay like this, but whatever. We can't really afford to do anything else, so we have to let it sit. Then about a week later, we're calling them and talking to them, and they're like, oh... You didn't do anything with the basement? You were supposed to start cleaning stuff up for us. We can't send someone in if it's a hazardous environment. And we're like... No, no, you told us to leave it be. And they're like, no, we would never do that. You were supposed to start it on your own and then we were gonna come in and help, but now we can't do anything because you didn't start on it. And mind you, this is a week later. The flooding has gotten significantly worse. It's not a $7,000 repair at this point. It's like a $25,000 repair. And now they're fucking telling us, oh, you should have been starting on this a week ago. Like, w what the fuck? Alright, so just as a side note, Allstate did claim that they don't cover sump pumps failing. Which I know is utter fucking bullshit because this same thing happened to us about 10 years ago. And our old insurance company, Farmers, covered it entirely. So when our insurance agent moved over to Allstate and started working for them, we followed him knowing we would have the same exact plan. And he made sure of it. But this is where it gets interesting. So as they decided to claim that the sump pump had failed and that they can't cover us for anything, we decided to have a certain the licensed plumber come and check exactly what had happened. And it turns out the sump pump didn't fail just because it fucking failed. The sump pump failed because under our house where the water was collecting was an unknown mineral that kept caking our pipes within like days. Usually these pumps have to endure some sort of limestone or calcium-esque material and those can take years to collect in pipes. Whatever mineral this was, which couldn't even be identified by the fucking city, had completely clogged our brand new pipes and was causing our brand new sump pump to fry out with within days. Days! So when we reported this information back to Allstate, which mind you, these disasters are supposed to be covered, they said, Sorry, I can't help you. So isn't this absolutely fucking glorious? Not only did this happen in the middle of our vacation and completely ruin it, but now we literally can't do anything about water just flooding up our basement. So, we have to let it sit. This is a solution that Allstate could have fixed for very cheap right when we called them. But after about three weeks of fighting, the cost of the repair would have been around 75000 
$5,000. Basically, it was starting to ruin the foundation of our house. So what does this mean? It means that we had to fucking abandon it. I took what little I could and had and ran off to an apartment in the city, and my parents had to move an hour away from everything they do so that they could go and live in my grandpa's house. Because you're not gonna pay for a house that's fucking flooded. So they had to foreclose it. Now guys, I never talked about this in the past because my outlook was shit happens. You deal with it, you move on, fucking everyone has their hardships, whatever. You don't need to go tell everybody about it. But recently we found out that because we abandoned our house and because it was foreclosed that my parents couldn't obtain adequate grants and loans to send my sister to college. Which essentially means, hey guys, I know your house flooded against your own will and insurance completely refused to fucking do anything about it, but this also means that your fucking kid can't go to college, so fuck you, eat a dick. And this is what brought me to make this video. Yeah, sure, we lost our house. Yeah, it fucking sucks. It's a shitty thing to happen to anyone. And luckily, I was able to make something of it by moving out and finding an apartment and sort of rushing into it. And so far, I've been able to live without the worry of losing my living place. When I heard this news, it, it was it was heart-wrenching. I'm not actually going to school right now so that I can work full-time doing this, but my sister, school is basically her lifeblood right now. And it just absolutely baffles me that all of this had started a chain reaction that would eventually lead to us being screwed over this bad. Allstate basically just attempted to ruin our lives to save what at the time would have been 7,000 measly fucking dollars. And sometimes you gotta wonder why you pay the money for insurance when they don't actually hold up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the story of how we ended up losing our house. One of my main reasons for making this video was to call out a company for their absolute bullshit. I think it's kind of shitty how companies think they can get away with doing this shit to people, and then no one ever finds out. But on top of that, I also wanted to do something for my family. Down in the description, there's a link to a GoFundMe, and this GoFundMe is solely for my family. I've seen them struggle a lot in the past, and for once, I want to be able to do something for them. I want to be able to give back to people who have given me so much. Because, I mean, if you think about it, with, without them, you wouldn't have me, and you wouldn't be able to watch my terrible videos. No, but in all honesty, this is like the absolute least I could try to do for them. Losing your house is hard enough, but then hearing the news that you can't send your kid to college because of it is just unfathomable. And guys, there is absolutely no obligation. I'm tossing this GoFundMe up so it's an option to people who would like to. So thanks to all of you who did stick around this long and watch the entire video. Just tossing this out there, uh, Allstate does have a Twitter. I I'm not saying do anything. I, I would never tell you to do anything about it. I just I'm just saying they have a Twitter. Seriously, we've been fucked by so many companies in the past year. I I've lost count. But this this one in particular was like the biggie, the the one that made us fucking y you know. So yeah, thanks again to all of you for watching. And until the next time, I'm doing something crazy or screaming in the mic. Bye!